Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with an MSI GF63 8RD laptop. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now there's quite a few screws on this bottom case. We're gonna go around, take all the screws out. And when all the screws are out, We'll take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. And I say plastic because it will scratch your case a lot less than a metal one will. We're going to go around the entire seam of our bottom case and pry it up from the rest of the computer. Now, this bottom case was especially challenging, and I take computers apart for a living. This one was a major pain in the butt. Um, so you're going to go slow. Try not to get the pry tool too far in. You can damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge, slow but firm, and pry the bottom case up. One of the especially difficult parts that you may encounter is to the rear of the computer, prying it up. This is a view of the rear, and you'll see here you have to pry it up right here along this seam that goes over your vent, over the HDMI, and then sinks down a little lower and continues on. So that's going to be especially challenging. You're going to want to pry these two components apart from each other. And then once you get it fairly loose, you're going to want to flip the computer over, open your screen a little bit, and go at it from this side because that guard needs to come off. So after you pry that off, then you come in here and you actually remove it from on top of the palm rest. After you've removed it, you can close your top lid, you can close your screen, and it looks like this. See, you pried that top part up along here and now you've taken it up. After that part comes up, then you're gonna to continue to pry the bottom case off from this seam now, right above your vent, all the way down here, again, above the HDMI, coming down in this direction. That was the most challenging part of getting that bottom case up. Once you do remove your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, I will have a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all the tools and replacement parts I use for this computer. So just to flip the computer over so we can see it a little better, this is your battery down here and it plugs into the motherboard right here. This battery is a three cell. It's a 51 watt hour, 11.4 volts. I will have that information below in the description if you need it to search for your own replacement battery. However, again, I will have a battery replacement option for you in that link I told you about below with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer. So as with any cables or wires in a computer, try to avoid pulling on the wires themselves. Try just to manipulate the plug if at all possible. Sometimes these wires can pop right out of the plug and you can damage them. So there's a little grip right there in the center. You can put a pry tool on that and gently push it down, push this plug out. However, sometimes, as in the case of this computer, that didn't get me all the force that I needed. So I did have to remove the battery, hold on to the wires, grip that plug as much as I could with my fingers, and then do a combination of gently pulling on this and then pushing with a pry tool in that middle. And that's how I got that plug out. And I guess the last thing to shout out about this kind of operation, if you're here because your computer is not turning on, it could be a bad battery and you may have to replace it. But keep in mind that most laptops will still turn on and work even if the battery's dead, as long as your charger's plugged in. So if your computer is not turning on at all, it could be something other than just a bad battery. If you would like help troubleshooting why your laptop is not turning on, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description. That will be a tutorial in how to troubleshoot a laptop that's not turning on so you can find the cause and fix it. But that's it for this video how to get inside the GF63 8RD and access your battery. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this 
or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions, I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.